Beautiful Painter and welcome back to my channel. Doing something a little different today. It is my first coloring book flip through. Yes, I'm making a coloring comeback. I have been so busy on diamond painting that I've kind of let my coloring go. And uh, in order to get me back into the spirit of adult coloring, I've got some flip throughs for you. I'm not gonna turn every page and make it a 12 hour long video. Also, I have a really cool uh, diamond painting gadget that I got that uh, Brandy of Mystery of Diamonds got one and she told me about it and I had to get one as well. So I'll be uh, unwrapping that and showing that to you as well. So let's get in to my coloring book flip through. These are four of my favorite adult uh, coloring book artists. I love them all. Um, the first one I'm going to start off with, these are so stinking cute. I have several of the diamond paintings um, from this artist. This is Sherry Baldy, and I ordered my Bestie Summer Fun Adult Coloring Book. And I better get coloring on this because the summer fun is about to be over. So um, it has 50 pages, and what I love about a lot of these is it's 50 coloring pages, 25 images, so, and there are two of each. So if you mess up, you have a clean one to uh, go with. So look at her in her little bikini and her little floaty love it and this is sherry baldy for those of you that uh, don't know who she is she's the artist and i will link uh, the links to all of these coloring books as well as my diamond painting gadget down below so you know where to go to order these if you would like one but this is sherry baldy isn't she beautiful i think she's gorgeous um she has been known for her trademark big eyed art for over 20 years around the world so um, she is the artist of these cuties. Look at these guys. Oh my gosh, those starfish. And I love their eyes, and that's the cover. So I'll, that's good because you, you know, you've got a model to color off of if you want. Um, this paper is pretty good paper. It's not like the artist grade paper that Hannah Lynn uses, but um, just stick a few uh, pieces of paper behind each image so you don't bleed onto the next one. I like this one because he's a little boy and he's got his sandcastle there. Oh my gosh, look at Miss Curly Q and the bubbles and oh, these, these are so stinking cute. There's another little boy playing in the sand with the shells and the starfish. <gasps> the kite and look at her, she just looks so happy. All these guys do. Oh, and look at Miss Lackadaisical with her watermelon slice. She's enjoying the sun. She's got some beads hanging off her leg. So cute. I just love all these images. Another little boy in a floaty with the palm trees behind him and the coconuts. Oh, somebody's gone camping. Someone's at summer camp. Look at the doggy. I just love all these guys. They're so cute. Marshmallow roasting. Fishing. We got a fisher woman there. She's happy she caught a fish. Roller skating bicycling, scootering. So that um, is the Sherry Baldy coloring book. Um, there are more uh, images. She's drinking lemonade. Look at those cute little feet. <laughs> look, at that. look at that big toe. Oh my gosh, that's, that's huge. And some ice cream. And again, I'm not going to make this a 12 hour long video, but I wanted you to see that coloring book. And again, 25 images. They're 50 pages because they're two of each image. My next one I'm going to feature, and I have marked pages in this one because I liked every one of these. Um, I, the Big Book of Fairies, there are 100 illustrations to color, and this is another one of my favorite artists, Molly Harrison. Again, I will have all these links below, but she does. I, I, I love fairies. They're, they're my favorite, and so I had to get this one. Here is one. Here sits the fairy with her dragon. I know Brandy would go nuts over that. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? I just loved her. Look at the baby dragon. She's got the baby dragon there. The other one I marked was this one. Look at those feathers. Now, that is going to be a challenge for me to color, but I will take the challenge because that is a beautiful image. Just love it. And I love her little scepter there. This is another one, a fairy in front of the moon. She's got a kind of a chain of stars and moons and stars and moons all over her dress. I love their ears too, their pointy ears. Here is one. Oh, she loves her dragon. She's hugging on that dragon's neck like, oh, I love you. This 
the eyes struck me in this one. I just love it. And she's got another baby dragon wrapped around her, her beautiful long hair. I just love that one. There's another one I like, Fairy. She just looks so pretty in her long flowing gown and the butterfly and the flowers. That'll be fun to color. I like her hair and her flowers. <clears throat> I loved her. She's a little whimsical fairy. Love her hairdo. And all of her attire is so cute. And she's got lots of stars flying around her in the moon. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I loved this one too. A little bit challenging. These are tiny spaces to color, but I just love the sleeping fairy on the flowers. And look at all that long hair just dangling down there. And then my last image. This was a very powerful image to me. Um, she's more of a gothic uh, fairy. And um, she's got her roses and, again, beautiful hair flowing. I just I like that one. That stood out to me. So those are some of the images in the Big Book of Fairies by Molly Harrison. <clears throat> Next one, I don't have a coloring book uh, from this artist, but this is my first one. It's Sweet Dreams. And for those of you that know, Alina Lazariba, she is an amazing artist. She's just fantastic. And um, again, this is the Sweet Dreams coloring book, and it is grayscale. <clears throat> and for those of you that don't know what grayscale is. I wasn't familiar with it when I started coloring. Do you see in these images, she's got some shading in gray and that really helps make your coloring uh, multifaceted, gives it some depth. And so we've got all of these sweet treats, beautiful ladies with sweet treats. Look at her little skirt. She looks like a cupcake. Well, she's an upside down cupcake. <clears throat> Look at that one. I just love that one. Her lemon slice earrings and her tutti frutti headdress. I just thought all these were beautiful. But again, you can see in here the gray scale shading that, again, when you <clears throat> color over it, um, it really helps make your coloring uh, have depth and uh, makes it multifaceted. I can't wait to color. Look at her. Oh my gosh. She's got a cupcake hat on. Ooh, some. Sweet frozen beverages. Another tutti frutti headdress with a watermelon. We got another kind of a, I don't know, she's standing on what looks like an eclair. But yeah, all their outfits are sweet treats as well. Oh, do you remember these big lollipops from like the amusement park? I would always get one. Never ate it all, but it was fun to eat or some Valentine's Day treats. So that is Sweet Treats, Alina Lazariba. Look at her with the apples. Oh my gosh. These are ladies, I guess they're floating in a sea with a cherry floating by on some cupcakes. <laughs> okay, we've got Lemon Lady. Looks like Lemon Lady. We got the lemon hat, we got the lemon necklace or lemon collar and lemon purse. Cherry trees. Oh, there are some cherry twins. Got connected little stems up there. Aren't these gorgeous? Some macaroons. All right, now this book is very interesting because I'm probably gonna do, you know, basically a flip through on this one, but um, this is a bonus section in this book and it's basically seven of the finest grayscale pictures from her collections of seven books. Fashion, Amazing Coloring Book, Fantasy World, Halloween, Fashion Life, Fairies, and Fantasy Kingdom. So she gives you a bonus section um, from some of her former coloring books, which is awesome. This is from Fashion Life. Look at those legs and those high heels. I'd be nine feet tall in these. <clears throat> Here's another one from Fashion. Look at the mermaid. Oh, I can't wait to do her. Little crab. She's beautiful. This is, a, this is from Amazing Coloring Book. These are all just gorgeous. Fantasy World, we've got the girl and the dragon and the castle in the background. There's the Halloween one, with that sassy witch. So that's the Halloween Coloring Book, and this is from the Fairies Coloring Book. So that'll be fun to do. And the, then, I'm not gonna go through all these again, but this is the second set of pages that I just showed you with the um, Sweet Dreams, so um, you get two sets of coloring pages here too, which is very, very nice. Nice quality of paper in this book. I really like it. All right, 
Next up, my girl, my girl, Hannah Lynn. Oh, I just love her. I just got off to the ball from Diamond Art Club today. I'm so excited to get it. Uh, if you are a Patreon of Hannah Lynn um, and you are at a specific level, she does a release of the paintings for you and gives you a special link that uh, on Friday you get the diamond painting uh, and everyone else gets it on Saturday. So that's a really nice little feature of her Patreon. So this is a Whimsy Girls Through the Decades. This is her brand new coloring book and I did get the artist edition. I always do. So you get her autograph and... Um, I love her coloring books. I've colored uh, several of her pictures. Trixie's probably one of my favorites. So again, the paper quality in these is amazing. This is her artist grade paper. So if you get the artist edition, uh, you get the artist grade paper in her autograph. Like how she does this, you're not gonna be able to see them very well. Um, but she does put a thumbnail of each one of your coloring pages um, on the first page so that you know what's gonna come up. Again, she will have two of each picture. Now, she is a little bit different because her two pictures, this is the first one, a little bit more detail, a little bit more difficult to color. The second page is a simpler view of it. So it's the same girl, but it's a little bit simpler and the spaces are a little bit bigger to color. So if you're new to coloring and wanna practice a little bit and then maybe do the more complicated view, you can do that or just pick and choose. Ooh, look at Scarlett. Scarlett over here, off to the ball. Fiddle dee dee. All right, oh, she is beautiful too, look at that. Old fashioned, is it a big troll I believe? And then there's the simpler version, so it's a little bit bigger. <clears throat> All right, we have going for an open car ride with her dog. Oh, the flapper girl. I've got to do this one. I just love the Roaring Twenties. And again, so, so you have the same flapper girl without the background and then with the background. That's going to be a lot more detail. Oh, we have the uh, prairie girl out on the farm. There's the scrub board for her laundry, doing her laundry. Got a cow. And then the simplistic version. Airplane pilot, Rosie the Riveter. Baseball. There's no crying in baseball. I remember A League of Their Own. That reminds me of A League of Their Own, the movie with Madonna and Tom Hanks. And here is maybe a 30 or 40s uh, singer. She's in a jazz club, looks to be. Her beautiful hair and her old fashioned microphone. And here we are in the 50s. Dinner's ready at 5 o'clock. I look like a million bucks when my husband gets home. Because that's how we all do it, right? <laughs> and here is a glamour girl. I, I guess from the, you know, again from the 40s on the red carpet in Hollywood and her gown. It's looking it's so amazing. All right, here's a 50s sock hop girl in her saddle shoes and poodle skirt with her soda in front of the jukebox. She's getting ready to do the twist. And again, looks to be in the 50s based on what I see, the style of bathing suit. So we have a lounging lady on the beach in the 50s. Hello, I'm the secretary. Look at her beehive. That's got to be the 60s. So yes, she's the secretary with her boots. How can I help you? All right, here's our disco girl. She's getting ready to boogie on down the disco. All right, oh, again. This reminds me of Melody. Peace out. She's got her... VW bug band, peace signs, just psychedelic, cool, her beaded headband. And then there's the simpler view. Okay, now we're getting into the 80s. Check out the side ponytail, the rainbow. Yep, all the bracelets. Getting into the 80s. All right, here's another, you know, 80s. She's got her boom box. She's got her cell phone. Do y'all remember when cell phones first came out? It was like putting your shoe up to the side of your head. It was funny. They were so big. 
Okay, now we've got the aerobics. Aerobics going on in the 80s. Remember Jane Fonda and Olivia Newton-John, let's get physical. And she's got her side pony, her little warmers for her arms, and her slouching shirt like flash dance. Now, I'm not sure what decade this would be from, but she sure is pretty in her patterned sweater. Okay, now we're getting into heavy metal. ACDC, Metallica, all that. So she's getting ready to go to her heavy metal concert. Walk on. And here we have the very preppy schoolgirl. She's on her cell phone. She must be a very popular girl. She's talking to her boyfriend, probably. All right, now a little bit of rap, a little bit of side baseball cap, love, peace. So we got a rapper girl. Love it. All right, she is at the beach. So again, not sure what decade this is in. Maybe the 90s, I'm not sure. At the beach, ready to go with her little purse. All right, here we have lady with her cat on her computer. This has got to be <clears throat> modern day times. She's working on her computer. And that is it. Now, what's cool about this is this is a blotter practice page at the end, and you can tear it out, and you can put it between uh, what you're coloring. And again, on any of these coloring books, guys, you need to get a, a very heavy piece of cardboard or several pieces of, you know, just regular computer paper will do, but I would do at least three or four of them between your coloring, especially if you're using markers. And this is also a really good uh, page to, if you have to swatch things, uh, if you want to test out a color before you actually color your picture, you've got a piece of paper to do that on. So that is my girl, Hannah Lynn. Love it. Cannot wait to start on this. Okay, let's get into our diamond painting Fun item that I bought. I got this on Amazon. Don't worry. This will also be linked below. I've learned my lesson. You will get the link. So let's get into this. I have not opened it. Wanted to open it with you. Sorry, crinkling. Okay, so as some of you know, but I will tell all of you, I'm going on a retreat in October, and um, Marissa of The Crafty Heifer, if you've not checked out her channel, she does all kinds of crafts, and she is an awesome person, so check out The Crafty Heifer if you have not. Um, she is helping to organize a diamond painting, or cra actually it's a crafting um, getaway, and um, we are so excited to go in October, um, and this is something that I'm going to use to travel with, and these, a lot of these have been unboxed, but I liked the added feature, and I'll show you that in just a minute. So what you've got is you've got four, six, eight, ten, two, you've got 60 of these uh, jars that you can label up and put your drills in, and um, they've got screw-on caps so you don't spill your drills everywhere, and a foam core that they go in so they're not knocking around when you're traveling. So that is, I love this case. Now, what it came with are some extras. I've seen these cases alone, but never with the extras. So, what did we get? What did we get? We got, oh, this is cool. This is a collapsible funnel, so that when you are pouring your drills, either into your tray or in, back into the containers, you can just uh, stick that. It fits very nicely down into the jar, so you don't spill your drills, and you can get your drills all back in, and then, when you are ready to put your items away, you just collapse it and it goes flat and you can store it like that. So that is pretty nifty. I haven't seen one of those before. And then you get all kinds of stuff in here. More tools, more tools, more tools. You get, and this is what I really wanted too. This you can use uh, twofold. You can use this to straighten your drills on your diamond painting. Just go in between the rows to straighten them up. I like to have this especially with squares. In addition, if you get a diamond painting with double-sided tape and it has that opaque covering that you have to peel back and straighten out, you can use this to straighten out that opaque paper. And by opaque paper, if you have a diamond painting with a white cover on it, most of the time it says Sunor Group, and you gotta peel that back to lay the canvas flat, you can use this to flatten it out. 
Oh my gosh, more diamond painting pens because you know I need more diamond painting pens, right? <laughs> um, they do have different multi-placers. Looks like a three-placer, um, five and six-placer. This looks like a, maybe a, a nine-placer. So you've got plenty of multi-placers to choose from. Cheapo plastic tweezers. I don't ever use these because they tend to break and they don't really pick up my drills as well as the metal ones, but that's okay. Green boat. Oh, you get two green boats, which is nice because if your drills stick together, put the sticky drills in one of these, put this uh, down over it, and you can crush them and get them separated. Baggies. Oh, labels. That's nice. You get labels that fit on these containers so that you can label them. Okay, more pink wax that I know what to do with. Seriously, look at all this. I would never need wax for the rest of my life. So, pink wax. And a nice big uh, wide white tray with, uh, I like this, that the sides are higher so when you're shaking your drills they don't all pop out with a nice spout. So those are all the extras you get with this. And with that, I'm gonna let you go. Thanks for hanging with me on my coloring book flip through. I will have all of the links to these coloring books and the links to this below. I hope you have a fabulous Friday. It was good talking with you. And if you are new to the channel, I do a lot of diamond painting, um, coloring, and I am going to bring in uh, some cross stitch. I just ordered some cross stitch as well, so you'll get to see that when it comes in. Um, if you like this video and want to see more like it, if you want to see more diamond painting, uh, unboxings, those types of things, I always try to get things that interest viewers uh, and that they might want to use, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. Everyone is welcome. And that is my video. So again, uh, I'm going to remind you in a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter and I am signing off.